There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang, Dan here and welcome back to day six, um, a totally awesome day. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about 30 day challenge hosting. Now, in the last video, I told you about how you can go out and get your own um, domain name and the importance of getting a domain name in respect to a Google ranking because Google absolutely loves you having your own keywords in a domain name. Now, point is, you don't have to go and do this guys. I really want to make this totally and utterly clear. The 30 day challenge is all about giving you a completely, utterly and totally free experience. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't offer you different solutions and this is why I really wanted to um, cover the domain um, domain name registration in the last video because having a domain name with your keywords in will give you a extra advantage but you don't have to do it seriously um, if you don't want to spend the, 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 the 10 bucks 15 bucks it's going to cost you to get a domain name that is totally cool and the software we're giving you in the next video which Ed will be covering will allow you just to basically jump onto one of the domain names we've already prepared for you for um, this process so just to be clear you don't need a domain name I do think it gives uh, an advantage, um, but it's quite acceptable and totally workable for you to go through the 30 day challenge process without actually having to do this. And you still will get good results, guys. I'm just, you know, really, I just wanted to give another option. So now the second thing to do with domain names is you're actually going to need somewhere to actually host them. And this year we're working with HostGator, um, a company who's going to be providing um, hosting for 30 day challenge members and the cool thing about using HostGator um, for the um, this part of the process is that the software we're providing you is automatically designed to work with HostGator. Everything's set up, the right settings are on the server, and the software automatically integrates with HostGator. Now you can use your own hosting and on 99.9% .9 of hosting accounts this will work absolutely perfectly. Um, as long as you've got cPanel, which if you're used to hosting you'll know what I'm on about, as long as you've got cPanel access and FTP access you'll be able to use your own hosting. Um, but again, we just want to make sure that this is a, a real clean and easy process um, for you to be able to go and set up your own hosting account. And you can do this for uh, as little as four bucks ninety-five. So it's not a huge bank breaker. And again, in all honesty, you, you don't need to do this. You can use the um, domains we provide and, and the hosting we provide for this process. Um, but ultimately, if you do want to go this, I'm going to go through the video, uh, go, go through the process today and show you how you can actually go and set that up. Now, first point, disclaimer, we are going to be making money out of this. Um, if you actually go through and use HostGator as your hosting company, we get an affiliate commission for doing so. And I just want to be completely clear, complete honest disclaimer at the front, and this seriously helps um, provide some funds towards the running costs, because this costs Ed and myself literally tens of thousands of dollars um, to host the 30 day challenge. And you know, by you actually using the HostGator, then it's um, all the funds go from that go into recovering a fraction of the cost of the actual 30 day challenge. So I just want to be clear at the front that we actually do make money if you go through our hosting solution. Um, so there you go, disclaimer away. So first things first, um, I'm gonna show you the 30 day challenge dashboard and I'll show you how you can go set up your hosting account. So let's go over here. And as you can see, we have the 30 day challenge dashboard page here. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a new addition. Yes, big HostGator banner. And you can literally just go and click on either of these and it'll take you through to the HostGator site. Now, there's three different types of hosting which is on offer on HostGator. It's uh, standard hosting, reseller hosting, dedicated hosting. For this, we are literally talking about the standard hosting. We don't need reseller or dedicated or anything like that, just the cheapest 495 solution here. That's all that is needed. So I'm just gonna click on learn more here. And there's three different um, levels of hosting available in HostGator. There's the Hatchling, the Baby, and the Swamp. Um, also, there's Linux web hosting and Windows web hosting. You want Linux web hosting. Stay away from evil Windows web hosting. So Linux web hosting, and now ultimately you have the option of 
one of these three packages. Excuse me, need coffee. Now, out of these three packages, um, I personally recommend this one highlighted in blue, which is the baby package. Um, and that's seven bucks 95 a month. Now the reason I'm recommending this is because it allows you to host an unlimited amount of domains. So say during the process, the 30 day challenge process, or after the 30 day challenge, you might want to host like 10, 15, 20 of these um, blogs and the baby package will allow you to host all those uh, still for the one-off price of, well, the one-off monthly price of $7.95. So you don't have to, every time you register a new domain and want to put that up, you won't have to pay for any more hosting. This is all inclusive. And the amount of disk space and traffic and bandwidth you actually get is more than adequate. I mean, if you're getting up to uh, anywhere near these levels, then you're making a killing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, first things first is the, the hatching package, but that only allows one domain name. If you just want to try this process out, that's absolutely superb. And you can upgrade um, from the 495 to the 795 service once you've tried it out. Now, this 495 service and the 795 service, they come with absolutely loads of um, things, you, you know, subdomains, email support, PHP, yada, 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 and take your time, you can go through and, and read all about these different um, options, and if you uh, click on any of these question marks here, it'll actually tell you all about them. But ultimately, most of the stuff we really don't care about because we're giving you everything you need to actually host and run your own content blog um, and again in the next video I'm going to be showing you that. So ultimately the choice now is for you to decide whether to go for the 495 package or the 795 package. Now one thing about HostGator and this is really cool is if during the 30 day challenge process you um, sign up for uh, say the 495 or the 795 package, if within 45 days you don't think it's worth it and you don't want to carry on paying for it you can either cancel or there's a 45 day, zero hassle, no problem, no quibbles, money back guarantee. So if, you know, after the 30 days challenge is over, you decide that you don't want to carry on with the hosting, then uber cool, just go and ask them for a refund and they will refund you within 24 hours. And the service is great. So there's, you know, honestly guys, no hassle, no trouble there. And they also provide um, pretty cool technical support if you're having any difficulties whatsoever. So ramble over um, I'm just gonna go through now and actually show you the process of setting up your own hosting so here we go I'm gonna choose this package here and now it's actually asking me do I want to register a new domain or use one of my existing domains now I was like need more coffee oh. sorry about that now if you've used another service like Namecheap or any of the other domain name registration services like GoDaddy, then you can literally use your existing domain name. You'll need to transfer um, what we call name servers or point your name servers at um, HostGator, and they provide you with plenty of tutorials to be able to do that. And you might need to go into your hosting account, your domain account, and actually do that. But for the, for the sake of simplicity, um, I'm just going to register a brand new domain here right from the beginning, and. Let's go and grab one. There we go. EddaleMankiniWorld.com. I know that's a pretty suitable domain name. So I'm just going to go with that one and hit next. And uh, yes, I want to register that for one year and continue through. And it's asking me. Um, how often I want to be billed, whether it's monthly, and you get discounts if it's like for monthly or yearly or three yearly payments and so on. But here, there's a chance to enter a coupon. Now, there's a at the moment in time until the very until the first of September. There's a twenty percent off your first order um, coupon code available, and that is Beach. So enter Beach in there and calculate totals. And there we go, we've got $4.99 off because of the discount code. And I'm actually a customer here, but I'm going to actually go through and see if it'll allow me to register as a new customer. It might balk because it's already got my details in here, but we'll, we'll try that anyway. So I'm just going to go through and click on continue. And I'm going to enter my details. 
Hi again, welcome back. Um, I actually just paused the video there because, well, to be quite honest, I didn't want you to see my credit card details. Now, one thing is you can either choose to pay um, HostGator with either a credit card or a PayPal uh, account. If you choose PayPal, um, they don't take the payment off you immediately. Um, they actually send you an email which looks like this. Like this one. Which says, thank you for choosing HostGator, yada, 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 and please click on this link um, to go to the billing center. When you actually click on the link, you log in with your email address and the password you chose on the previous screen, um, and then click on invoices, and then you'll get the option to pay via your PayPal account. If you select the credit card, then this is all done automatically for you. Now, as soon as you actually have completed payment, um, You'll get this email off them, which is um, your order's being processed, uh, you've been charged this amount of stuff, yada yada yada. And then finally, um, and this takes around about 20 minutes or so, you'll get another email off them which shows you um, some important details. And in this example, it's showing you the IP address, um, it's a unique address for your site. Uh, some name servers, and this is um, especially if, you, if you, you can change your name servers to, to theirs, but again, uh, detail doesn't matter. Um, but most importantly here, um, it's showing you your control panel, your cPanel address. Now, for example, say for instance, like in my example, I registered eddalemankiniworld.com. Um, the cPanel address is eddalemankiniworld.com forward slash cPanel. And when you actually click on that, it'll ask you to enter a username and password. And the username and password are the same one which you use when you first created your account. Now, ultimately, you don't actually have to go in here yourself and don't have to do anything because the software we provide you will ask for these details and um, it'll do absolutely everything you need to do automatically. Um, and your FTP details, um, again, are the same. So your FTP details will be, you know, your domain name effectively and the username and password will be the same details um, that you provided when you actually created the account. Now let me just click over here to get started. When you actually log in to HostGator you'll actually see this and this is telling you that it could take 24 hours to 48 hours um, for your DNS and everything to be set up and propagated. In reality it usually takes about four hours um, to do this so uh, don't stress out too much about that. Um, it you know, generally doesn't take 48 hours. And as soon as everything's set up, you'll actually get another email off them telling them um, that you're good to go effectively. So again, this is just a real quick video to show you, take you through the, the hosting process. Now it may look a, a little confusing, but if you just follow it step by step and choose the options you want, and to use your password and your payment preferences, and then you just wait around for HostGator to send you an email, which again is usually it takes around about 20 minutes on average to actually get it set up and, and running. All right, gang, and again, remember you don't have to use hosting, you don't have to use your own domain name, I just want to provide you with another option there. So get ready and get ready to watch Ed's video, which tells you about the. Uh, cool piece of software which is called WordPress Direct. Um, so head over there now, get watching that and get building your first site. All right gang, take care and I'll speak to you tomorrow. There is no charge for awesomeness.